Greetings from Shine Curriculum. I'm Joan Daggett and I serve as Project Director for Shine. I'm here to give you a brief overview of our elementary materials. The elementary age level is written for children in grades one through five. Let's take a look at what's available in the teaching kit. The elementary teaching kit includes a teacher's guide, four teaching posters, two of which are Bible memory posters, and the follow the story cards. The kit is available in print or digital format. The digital kit contains the full teacher's guide, a folder with weekly sessions, and the poster and story cards images for viewing on screen. Inside each digital teaching kit is an overview document that tells you what's included and the permissions you have for distributing it to teachers and families in your church. Elementary also has several additional products that are used frequently and are purchased separately from the teaching kit. These include the Peace Table, a storybook Bible, which contains all the Bible stories for the elementary age level for the years 2023 through 2026. Everybody Sing, a double album of worship and seasonal songs for children, and the younger and older elementary student booklets. Let's walk through the session plan. The following slides will show the ways that the Shine products are incorporated into all aspects of the session, making it easy for teachers to teach. There's a sample session available on our website at shinecurriculum.com. Click on Sample Sessions under the Resources tab. The session plan begins with two pages of content for the teacher. Page one includes a Bible story summary, a faith link, which is the purpose and outcome for the session, and a handy at-a-glance chart where you can see the supplies you need for the session. There's a Bible essay with reflection questions and a prayer as you prepare for the session. Connect contains three sections. Connect to each other is a group building activity or a discussion prompt. Connect to God is a spiritual practice. And Connect to the Bible includes a Bible memory activity and often makes use of the Bible memory teaching poster found in the teaching kit. Encounter is the heart of the session. It begins with the backstory, which uses the follow the story cards from the teaching kit. We know that attendance by kids is very sporadic and there are often different teachers throughout the quarter. The stories in each quarter were placed together in a particular order to share the larger story of the Bible. But if a child only comes for sessions, say one, six, and nine, they will have no idea what Abraham and Sarah, Joseph and Joshua have to do with each other. The follow the story cards provide a quick visual way to bring everyone up to speed and to show the relationships between the characters and events of the quarter. There are 15 to 20 cards per quarter and they're included in the teaching kit. Next is the storytelling portion that uses the Peace Table Storybook Bible. You can learn more about the Peace Table at thepeacetablebible.com. You can see here that the Bible story is printed in the teacher's guide for your convenience. The right page of the encounter spread includes questions that help children reflect on the experiences of the Bible characters and the meaning of the text for their own lives. Try to ask some from each category. There's a range of complexity and depth, so choose questions that will work for your children. Refer to the Art and the Peace table as you ask questions. This helps children focus and gives them a starting place for reflection and conversation. Some questions can be asked during the Explore section of the session. There's a list of media connections in the sidebar that can be used throughout the session. These media, connect, media items are posted on the Shine Living in God's Light Pinterest board for ease of use. Explore is the third part of the session. There are three main options along with two to three other ideas in the shaded box. Create and move are included every time, with several other categories depending on the session. These include make peace, retell, 
discover, link, go, read, watch, and listen. Explore activities often make use of the pages from the younger and older elementary student booklets and posters in the teaching kit. Bless may include a song, a prayer, challenge, or blessing that you can share with the children to close the session. We're excited to share our new Teachers Helping Teachers Shine blog. Each weekly blog post includes things like teaching tips, curriculum information, guest posts from faith formation leaders, and so much more. You can subscribe at shinecurriculum.com. Just click on Teachers Helping Teachers Shine blog underneath the Resources tab. Teachers Helping Teachers Shine is also a private Facebook group for Shine teachers. We've had a Facebook group for Vacation Bible School, and staff have seen how helpful it is for teachers and church leaders to collaborate with each other. In this group, you can share ideas, pictures, resources, videos, and so on. You can also ask Shine staff questions. So join now and pass it on to teachers in your church. Just search Facebook for Teachers Helping Teachers Shine. Thank you for joining me for this overview of our elementary curriculum. We hope you enjoy using Shine curriculum. Thank you for your ministry of teaching.